it's your girl Sarah. And I'm Anna. And we're Charmed and Danger Rock. You know, because we're Charmed. And we're Danger Rock. Oh, wow. Watch out. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. We have those double, double guns, you know? <laughs> we are thriving yeah, during like, Leo oh, season. Like, this is our actual summer in San Francisco. Yeah. So we're living for it. Happy Leo season. We hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. And now we are back with one of your favorite videos. Yes. How to date a Leo. <laughs> But before we give y'all our tips and tricks, we would love it if you lovely people would subscribe down below. Yes. Your girls over here, your besties. We talk about anything that two besties want to talk about, mm -hmm. such as astrology, healing, spirituality, advice, how to's, all that good shit. So if you're about it, subscribe mm -hmm. now on to the video. All right. What's your first tip for the people that want to date Leos or the Leos who want to see if we know them enough? Right. What is your first tip? <laughs> My first tip is, or first, you know, thing is, I feel like Leos can actually be total romantics mm -hmm. and they want to be loved loudly, you know? So make sure you're spoiling them when you're dating or just in a relationship with them. I feel like they love to know you've been thinking about them, so make sure you give them gifts or like verbal praise mm -hmm. or acts of service or just attention in general. They love that shit, you know? <laughs> As we know. <laughs> right, and I feel like the bigger, the better. You know what I mean? So get them that bigger bouquet of flowers or that extra nice gift on their birthday. But definitely don't forget that card either. You know what I mean? Praising them and like telling them how wonderful they are because words of affirmation also go very far with this Leo. My first tip is be their number one hype man. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, Leo will be your number one hype man. So why aren't you there? It's like, it just seems a little disbalanced if you're not doing the same thing that they're doing for you because Leos go hard go for the people that they in love. The paint. They're gonna be the loudest person in the room. They're gonna <laughs> yes. be the ones with the balloons. They're gonna be screaming your name with the camera. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like Mean Girl status, you know, with the camera. <laughs> um, so you really should be showering them with compliments. Tell them how much their warmth means to you mm -hmm. and how much you know their presence in your life is felt and appreciated. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like Leos just really, really need you to let them know that you notice them yes. in your life. And without them, it feels cold. <laughs> Which, you know, it's funny because the sun rules Leo, you know what I mean? So just like the sun, they want to be the center of your universe, you yes. know? That's the sun right there, and uh -huh. that's Leo right there. <laughs> and everybody else revolving around. Exactly, you know? As we know, Leo loves being the main character, you know, more than any other sign. I would say if you are the type that wants to humble the people around you, please don't date a Leo. You know, I feel like Leo placements are natural born stars, like stars. They're meant to be on a stage. Uh -huh. And if they're on stage, you better be backstage with the flowers, <laughs> ready to give it to them at all times. Because if you're not there, then why is you here? Ho, why is you here? You right. know what I mean? Like, why? Why are you here if you are not going to be cheering them on? Because mm -hmm. they almost expect everyone in life to be cheering them on, but you as their partner, if you're not there, they will notice that. Yes. You know? Yeah, because especially too because they're always there you know for their people they're very loyal mm -hmm. so they expect the same from you yeah I you mean, better give it to they're them. the lion they're the pack leader mm -hmm. like the pack leader knows when the rest of the pack is slacking right or they ain't there they're like mm -hmm, I don't feel like it's pack strong exactly. today exactly so I'm missing you're only as strong <laughs> as your weakest player you uh -huh. know and Leo knows that yeah <laughs> <laughs> my next point is make sure you let Leo plan the first few dates okay I feel like Leo's like to be the leaders like we're saying in almost every aspect <laughs> so i think it's best to let them decide where you're gonna go on those first few dates that way they can put their best foot forward for you you know i feel like they're a fixed sign so they really want to be comfortable in their environments but ultimately they are trying to impress you you know and they would be embarrassed and a little bit stubborn if they were doing something that they had never tried before or they knew they weren't good at you know because again they're not able to put their best foot forward and they are very showy like hey look at me i'm doing great things yeah you know like to feel uncomfortable Control. Yes, so you know make sure they're in their comfort zone for the first few dates This isn't to say like don't surprise your Leo because they love adventure, but um, Make sure they can show you like their really dope side of them first You know like they really want to put their best foot forward for you in their first few dates mm -hmm. So allow them to do that. Okay, so for my second tip I want you guys to understand that Leo's are the definition of happy-go-lucky if you're too much of a realist or a pessimist, these sweet little sun babies do not 
want to be around you. You know what I mean? Like, like I said again, they don't want to feel like you're draining them. They are always so positive and happy, so they're definitely going to feel that there's something off if your energy is always, always like a pessimist, you know, or even just a realist, because let's be honest, realists are really pessimists. Uh -huh. Don't really see the uh -huh. difference between the two. Uh -huh. Leos deserve a partner who is willing to move through life with them without reminding them of the negativity and the darkness that, you know, life has. Trust and believe that Leo understands that life is like that, but they constantly mm -hmm. assume that life is going to work out in their favor, and that's why it usually does, no? Yeah, definitely. And don't rain on their parade. Yeah, don't. Please just don't assume that Leos don't experience negative emotions in general, or that, you know, they're shallow-minded. Leo understands that's how the world works, just like their, you know, Aquarius sister sign does, but they choose to obviously focus on the things that bring them joy. Which I feel like if we were all, if we would all do that, we would be happier people. Mm -hmm. Just choose to focus on the good, choose to do the things that make you happy. But not all of us have that natural ability to do that, and Leo does. So as their partner, don't downplay their optimism. Let them bask in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, I feel like then you're also low-key blocking their opportunities and the goodness that is coming into their life, mm -hmm. you know? Because it does just naturally flow to them because they are so optimistic and think the best of people. Like, for the most part, it works out for them. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I truly believe that's how life works. Mm hmm If you just believe in the best-case scenario, it'll probably happen. But if you continue to stress about the negatives, you're going to manifest that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my last tip on how to date a Leo is make sure you are sharing with them. I feel like Leos are actually hella generous and very loyal, so they don't like people who only take, you know? Mm -hmm. um, they will actually be really fucking pissed if they found out that their friendly nature was taken advantage of, you know, mm -hmm. and you were lying to them. Um, they will give their all to their people, so make sure you don't screw them over by being stingy with your love, your honesty, food, etc. You know, like the list goes on and on. Just don't be afraid to share with your Leo partner or lover or crush because they will be more than willing to share it with you. Agreed. I feel like generosity is one of my favorite words to use when describing Leos. Mm -hmm. They just have so much love to give. And if you take that for granted and all of a sudden it finally clicks for them that you've been taking them for granted, you will feel such a cold presence in your life once Leo is gone because you took them for fucking granted. Mm -hmm. I swear a Leo's energy feels like a warm, sunny summer day. Yes. If you have it, fucking appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> but then don't forget that their sister sign is Aquarius who is cold as fuck, so they can do that to you too. Mm -hmm. You know, they and got that. It's like really embarrassing though, because like when Leo is not giving it to you anymore and you're noticing them be hella warm to other people, you're like, it's like that meme with, you know, Spongebob where he's looking out the freaking window, like looking at everyone else having fun. Like that's going to be you if you don't take your Leo, you know what I mean? You don't appreciate them. You're going to see Leo so living true. life, posting pictures everywhere they go, traveling the fucking world, and they're going to be having a good ass time. And who's not there? You. Right. Because you didn't appreciate them. Right. Being hecka sour. Mm-hmm. How's being a realist working out for you now? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so for my third and final tip for people who are loving on these Leos, mm -hmm. I want you guys to learn to express yourselves together. The fifth house and Leo go hand in hand. Hands and hands. Hands and hands. Hands and hands. Hands and The fifth house and Leo. I don't know what this one is, and I got serious. Now she really got the hand. The fifth house and Leo go hand in hand. And if you didn't know, the fifth house in astrology rules over our creative expression and honestly, any of our desires that bring us joy, mm. which is a very sexy, sexy house. It's how we choose to honestly shine in the world. Hence why Leos are natural born stars. Whether it's creating art together, making a playlist for each other, trying new dishes together and just cooking together because that's creating. Any activity that allows you guys to express yourselves will make Leo's inner child feel very close to yours. Because if you think about it, when was the first time we really discovered what our passions are, what our desires are, when we were little kids? That's how we expressed ourselves and that's what we learn to work with when we grow up. If we continue to do those things when we grow up, they bring us joy like they did when we were kids. So honestly, if you are dating a Leo, you really, really need to learn to do these things that make you guys feel creative together. It'll be a really sexy time too, honestly. Trust and believe that it will be. But also learn to give them credit when it's due. 
Leo placements are very, very, very creative and people tend to take credit for their ideas and their creativity. Mm -hmm. Don't be that person because they're already going to have people in the world that are trying to do that. If you're a biter, don't be dating Leos, right. okay? Yeah, and if you're intimidated by somebody who knows that they are creative and are um, okay with expressing that and passionate and, and excited about it. And lead with their creativity, yeah. you know? They're not like downplaying it, they lead with it. Yeah. Which like, can be intimidating for people that haven't ever experienced that energy. Exactly. You know? So like, then don't be with a Leo, you know yeah. what I mean? Because they are not going to be fucking with you, like are messing with you if you have that type of energy because they know their stars like Sarah mm -hmm. has said and if you try and like dim their light at any point in time they're gonna be like uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. like Bye. waste of time all right y'all thank you so much for watching our episode on how to date a leo we hope you enjoyed it make sure you comment down below with your thoughts on how to date a leo you know what i mean whether you thought we were right if you are a leo yes y'all if you didn't know we got a podcast and on our podcast we discuss the question that we post here and we get into it deeper there this podcast is really great we talk well it's really great we talk about our trauma we talk about hot celebrity gossip we just talk about deep questions things that we you know we similarly talk about here so are you ready for the question yes. the question is what's a leo's biggest turn off when dating mm -hmm. this is the pod mm -hmm. yes. Got Got to. To. we're gonna put the links down below we post every wednesday for the podcast okay every monday and thursday for our youtube we're gonna link our socials somewhere around here so make sure you follow us make sure you subscribe if you got to end this video and you aren't already subscribed yeah okay. we love you especially so you leos much. we hope you're shining and thriving yes. during your season because that's yes. what you deserve yeah if you're not a leo we still hope you're using the leo energy to shine and thrive mm -hmm. love you guys see you later bye, bye. Thank you.